good, you're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. I knew what do you mean? Is she alright? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we cost them everything. I hope they like to be turned into explosive barrels. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed. So they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Snidget. Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any yeah, direction. Yeah, they used it in... Uh, in fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch, Quidditch is based yeah. on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Where exactly are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets? Gran wants me to stay out of it. But I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as... Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs! They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. Sounds really we dangerous. We need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. All of it. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. About... I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Yes. So about uh, explosive barrels as a game element, there's uh, Tommy Nordberg, he's a um, Swedish uh, game designer and he has like uh, level level design uh, uh, teaching materials in uh, Twitter. So I posted a picture about how <laughs> how, how you can actually actually use overused um, explosive ba barrels. In game design. So, uh, then it's all covered in covered in good. Hello there. Hello, I'll meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course! How exciting! I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear! Good to hear! If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. You said you know gobbledygook. But how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. 
Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me. Being self-taught and all. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Hello, my friend. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the Helmet of Earth God did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect goblin kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. Okay. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. Uh -huh. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. A good castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bacalio. <laughs> Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, uh, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain it's... dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodcock. Yeah, it's easier, Just probably. Lodcock. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? <laughs> and I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Uh huh. What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. Easy. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see. Thank you for being willing to help me, Amit. You are very welcome. I'm looking forward to meeting your friend, Lord Gok. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Okay. Revelio. door is looking at us. Right. Don't wish to be seen, do we?
the mind's eye. That was starry door. I suppose goblins are pretty good at this kind of steampunkish uh, technology. But I wonder if some potterhead can actually explain to me why goblins are not allowed to carry vines. I mean, I mean, can could they use magic? Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. These machines are made on steam. Confirm them. Clever. A real goblin mine. Arrest them. So I need to open that somehow. What about this? I've friend? read about mines like this. But see one is something else altogether. Yeah, that's a, okay, that's a wrong wrong spell. I was using Akio. Get you through this mine. Come, come here. All right. That's 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 a lot better. <laughs> yeah, through his safety. I bet. You have my word. I bet. Can't can't go this way. They're being watched by a door. One well, once again. Yes, of course. I wonder if there's other reasons why I, we need to actually learn the invisibility. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. Bound to be plans around here somewhere. schematic they're building something i can't quite make it out curious i will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here
Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgoth empty-headed. Okay, this must be the living quarters of the goblins we actually murdered. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? There must be more nodes around here. What could they be building? Ranger are slightly dangerous, so that's why. Ah, uh, there's more, more of those going. This is more complex than I had expected. Okay, so the boiler was here. So we need to ooh, light this up. Rebellion. Okay, I have too much gear once again. Well, all green items are something that I should just just should remove them. They are not going to be better and well they don't sell and I still get to keep them their look so but yeah legendary items that's the way to, way to go another schematic what are they going to build this mine is too small Rebellion. So we came here. There's a pulling I'm lever here. here. We can go here.
Devil snare. Nasty. The Purple. Not an entanglement we need right now. Lumos. 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 Okay, nothing, nothing else here. Should be the last of them, I'll meet. Rebellion. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodgott what we found. Okay, they could actually try to burrow their way to through to the to the um, hogwarts. There must be a quicker way out of here than retracing our steps. Okay. That's elevator, right? Now it probably works. Yes. Spiky elevator. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Revelio. Alohomora. Loop 
Mystery Stage Okei. Vanity items, but... Yeah, why not? We're almost out of here, our meat. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. I wonder what happens next. The ch chapter ma might actually change. That's that would probably it. And can we please talk about what just happened? Yep, we murdered a bunch of goblins. That wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> it was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. Yeah, well, you, you do that. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. Maybe, maybe it's a drill. I you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site she was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me when she looked up i thought she would react with fear or disdain but instead she did something that i will never forget without a moment's hesitation she smiled and asked me to sit with her she told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yeah. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah, the reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. Hmm. Which she didn't, because she died. More Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, when I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? Yeah, probably. I don't want to believe it. But I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. 
I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodgok, for telling me this. Hmm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. Ah, okay. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Well, now we know what, what is his endgame. Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. Nah. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. But... Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. <laughs> You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Hello. Pardon me, is everything all right? No, no it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow who spoiled things. Was it what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Uh-huh. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts. Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule-breaking. Now I'm stuck. Unable to tell which bell goes where. Is it really that important that the bells go back up? Is it really that important? They're part of the school's history. Those bells likely told a young Merlin that he was running late to charms, or called Ignatia Wildsmith to dinner. We can't simply fiddle with history. We're meant to be its stewards. It's certainly an odd decree, even for Black, taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. That's all he does in his office, you know. But then I heard... Can you keep a secret? I can. I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who heard from Eugenia, that uh -huh. it's because the bells reminded him of his wedding day. Breaks uh. out in a sweat every hour on the hour. But mum's the word. Uh. <laughs> if only two bells are left, isn't it fairly easy to tell which goes where? Easy for you, perhaps. I happen to be tone deaf. Mother likes to say I couldn't carry a tune if it hopped on my back like a chocolate frog. No point putting them back in if they don't sound just as they did before, for the sake of historical accuracy. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. <laughs> Thank you. 
Arresto no es Guardian Leviosa. One out, one to go. Revelio. It's so see it's some bear. Ah, it's there. Guardian Leviosa. Wasn't too hard. Evangeline should be pleased about this, even if Black isn't. The bells are back up, Evangeline. Ah, oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. <laughs> I wish I could see his face. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do, and I hope that you do as well. I don't know how much this means for me and for Hogwarts. Is this where we're meeting the Centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. I bet they love surprises. I'm not sure about this. I can't imagine they're fond of being surprised. We don't have a choice if we want to help the Snidgets. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. I hope they can tell we're sincere, but Poppy, centaurs are just centaurs. They can't read your mind any better than I could. Perhaps you're right. It's just... Never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... We've no secrets to hide. That's right. Mm, we'll simply not. be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- Okay. Super laggy. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help! Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. Mm. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now. Follow me before Golden I... Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please, help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it, and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. Okay. 
seems like have, we have a we're cut for our for us. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? Isn't moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. <laughs> I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. <laughs>